see a lot of people complaining about this week's Supreme drop. And all I have to say is Supreme gave you a burner phone and you have the audacity to complain about this week's Supreme drop? Disrespectful. Unforgivable. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Solid Women Today. Today we're gonna go over this week's Supreme Drop and we're gonna talk about some of the pieces dropping. This week is obviously headlined by the Nike SB Dunk Lows that are releasing, which is the Supreme Nike collaboration. And honestly, I think it is kind of gas. I asked you guys on my Instagram, which if you guys do not follow, of course, change your life. Go follow me. My Instagram is at the start of the C H E S C A R R L I F E. And it seems like 50% of you guys thought this collaboration was gas, and the other 50% of you guys thought this collaboration was trash. Ooh, I can rhyme with my fucking polls. I'm so creative. That being said, personally, I like it, which I will get into in a moment. But before we get into that and the rest of this week's job list, please take a second to hit that like button down below. If this video gets 1,500 likes, yes, 1500, zero, zero, then I will do a live cop tomorrow morning of me trying to acquire these Nike SB Dunk Lows. And of course, the other piece which I plan on trying to get, which is somewhat period themed. I'll explain that joke in a moment. Make sure you hit that like button down below. And then of course, while you're down there, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this week, which pieces you guys are going for, which pieces you like. I have been trying to read all the comments and show some love to everyone who shows love in the comments, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate every single person who takes the time to write out a little script to me, showing some love, or even just saying notification gang. Like, I appreciate all that shit. And I'm trying to get in the habit of hearting my favorite comments. And then while you're down there liking and commenting, of course, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you have not already. But anyways... Getting into this week's drop list, first we are going to start by talking about these Nike SB Dunk Lows. It's going to come in three colors. You have the navy with the King Midas touch of gold toe cap. Then you have the Oakland Raiders, even though I think they're no longer Oakland Raiders and I don't know where they moved to, but I will always know them as Oakland Raiders, so just do not comment. And they're not Oakland Raiders anymore. They're the Miami Dolphins. I don't fucking know, dude. I don't follow sports. But you have that colorway. I guess I could just say the Raiders colorway to uh, eliminate any confusion. You have it with the silver toe cap, looking like the perfect shoe for that bad guy from from Terminator. I don't know what his name is, the aluminum dude. You guys probably know who I'm talking about. If not, then you're an uncultured swine. But then last but not least, you have the period blood dipped red dyed toe cap, the white and the red. Now I asked you guys what your favorite colors were on my Instagram right after I asked your guys opinions and it seems like 75% of you guys voted for the black and the silver over the navy and the gold and then it was 50-50 right down the middle between the black and the silver and the red and the white. Now personally I plan on getting the period blood dipped ones for my personal collection. When it comes to resale, by the looks of it, it seems like the black and the silver ones are going to have the most resale but I just do not know personally. I think it's kind of hard to tell. I think if those do have the most resale, I think the red and the whites will be right behind it. And then of course the navy and the gold will be following up with a nice bronze medal in third place. Which is kind of weird because honestly in terms of like personal style, I kind of like the navy and the gold ones over the black and the silver one. Either way, hopefully I will cop these white and these red ones for my personal collection. I actually think they're super sick and I think it's weird that a lot of people don't like them. Ever since I saw the leaks, it seems like a lot of people were hating on them, which I think is really weird because it seems like a lot of people thought that when round two dipped the Jordans in the red paint, that that was like, oh my God, mind-blowingly cool. And to me, this seems very inspired by that. But moving on with the period blood-inspired pieces, we have these rayons. Now, sadly, this comes in a white and a black, and the black does not have any red accents, so I will be going for the white, even though I normally don't like going for white shit because I cannot keep it clean because I have the manners of a four-year-old child, or maybe even younger than that. Like Basically, like me eating is like, when you're a baby and you're eating and you have like a little high chair and you have that little like table thing that you're eating on and you're just smashing your food, that's me eating. Somehow, I don't know, I try to use utensils, I try to use everything, but somehow whenever I eat, I cannot keep a white tea clean for the life of me. But I'll still be trying to go for that piece because I really like this design. I love the red accents and honestly, this seems like something like Raph Simmons would do or something like that. I just think it's a super sick piece. I think the price for the Nike Dunk SB Lowe's is 110 and the Rayon will probably be like right around 150 to 160 dollars. For those of you guys that do not know, that is Spanish for dollars you uncultured swine, you philistine. But moving on, we have this extremely overpriced, ugly ass fucking safari inspired like tiger striped wool Harrington jacket. I do not like this piece at all. I don't know why anyone likes this. It looks like something a cheap stripper would wear, but you can't even be a cheap stripper wearing this because it's 400 fucking dollars. So you know you really gotta be shaking that ass at the strip club if you wanna cop this piece because this is not cheap. Yes, it is made of wool and it's cool that it has, oh wow, wool and cool, those rhyme. Anyways, before I rudely interrupted myself, it has this really cool flannel interior by the looks of it, but this piece is just fucking hideous. This looks like something that would be released from Forever 21 or maybe Rue or some shit. I don't know, it's absolute garbage. Unless you are a pimp or a stripper, there is no reason for you to get this piece. I do not like animal prints anymore. I am not six years old. I did like animal prints like 10 years ago, maybe, maybe 12 years ago. But then I grew up and I'm not trying to look like I'm on some hype beast on an African safari. Not for me. Not copping this. This thing is hideous. Now moving into some okay pieces. We do have the S logos dropping. I'm, I'm indifferent to these. 
to be honest. I do kind of want to cop it just because I love S logos. And anytime I see S logos, I'm reminded of Lil Wayne. I walk around like I got an S on my chest. But to be honest, the more I look at these, I'm not really that impressed with the colorways. And I feel like some of the S logos in previous seasons have been better as well as S logos have just been like, I don't know, dude, they've just been shoving S logos down our throats like a BBC porn star or some shit. And I'm just, I'm fucking tired of it. But yeah, this is dropping in a hoodie and a sweatpant. Of course, the hoodies are too much money. They're like $168. And then you gotta pay shipping and tax. So it's gonna be like $200 for that hoodie, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous. And these sweatpants are also too much money. But yeah, um, cop them if you want them. Speaking of hoodies, we do have this hoodie that is printed. It's got this huge print. Of course, you got Supreme on the top, Supreme on the bottom. So that way, if they're looking at your face, their peripheral vision will see Supreme. If they're looking at your dick or vaginal crevice, they will still see Supreme. So no matter what, their peripherals will see Supreme and they will know that you are balling and you are not broke. But it does have this cool little graphic. You have this like chick in the back with these two like, I don't know, lesbian doves making out or something. I don't know what's going on, but the graphic looks super like, inspiring. I feel like this is something I would like get and then go to like a Fleetwood Mac concert. Some like hype beast indie shit, you know, some hype beast hipster shit maybe. I don't know. I kind of like it. I will say the print goes all the way onto the pocket so I do foresee knowing Supreme with their terrible quality control, their terrible QC, mini print issues. In fact, if you look at the actual display image, it looks like there's an actual flaw on the sample piece that they took a picture of for product photos. Now, I really did not want to talk about this piece at all, but you have these absolutely hideous knitted sweaters cargo pants and hats dropping. Of course, the cargo pants do come in a couple nicer colorways like the olive and I think a black color, but they also have these three tribal colors. You have the like red and orangish colorway, which looks like some second grader drawing flames on a piece of paper. You have this brown and black colorway, which looks like a bunch of like, like different trails of dookie stains. And then you have the black colorway, which just looks like absolute trash. That being said, I did see the reference piece for these and these were inspired by some old number nine pieces, but I also don't really care what inspired it. I respect number nine as a brand. I think number nine is great. That being said, these are still trash. They were trash when number nine did them and they're trash when Supreme does them. So I don't know why they chose to reference this piece. It's absolutely garbage. There are so many beautiful pieces from number nine that you could have referenced. And I don't know why you chose this because this is absolutely disgusting. You do have this coach's jacket, which I think is really cool, but I'm probably not gonna get it. It's like $200. It's got this huge embroidery on the back with this flaming cop car. So that way you can let the world know that you are a rebellious little 12 year old. Popping Zan saying free Tay K to the man. But I do really like this graphic. I think this piece is sick. I don't really care for the Supreme spell out, to be honest. I wish that they would have chose a different font or something that kind of matched that graphic a little bit better, but I still think it's really dope, and I also like that they embroidered it, so uh, definitely props for me if you do copy. I think it's a cool piece nonetheless, but I'm just not trying to pay $200 for this coach's jacket. Oh, we also have the Anoraks dropping. I almost forgot about these. I do not like these at all. Uh, I don't really like the way that they did the branding. I wish they would put it on a zipper instead of like a flap. They do these Anoraks and matching pants all the time. The only one that's really different or unique is you have this Tron inspired looking graph paper shit and I'm not a fan of that either. I think that's just, I don't know, dude. Maybe if it was like black with white grid lines, maybe that would have been a little bit cooler, but I'm just not really a big fan of this. I don't think it's that great and uh yeah, I don't know. I'm just indifferent to these. You have this flags long sleeve and um, you just have some flags with a Supreme spell out that has like a minor arc to it. This just seems lazy. I feel like they're just, at this point, it's like one of those graphics. They're just like, we need another piece. Let's make something real quick. Sometimes when it comes to Supreme, they make so much product. I always say that 50% of what they drop is trash. And I feel like it's because they make so much stuff. They make such a wide array of shit that like, they're just bound to make garbage. You cannot make that many cool items in a year because they drop so much stuff yearly. I don't know, dude. Anyways, you have this pocket tee. This looks like it has like something. I don't know, the font kind of gets bigger like the like Star Wars prologue or some shit. I don't know, or prelude. Is it prologue or prelude? I don't know, the beginning of the fucking movie when the letters are counting up and they're traveling back into space. You can see the letters and it's like, na 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 Is that the right theme song? I don't know, dude, I'm tired. It's early, but that's kind of what it looks like. Moving on, we do have the world famous beanie. This piece I do kind of like. I like this bold font spell out. It's an outline beanie, so it's just outline. I'm pretty sure it's embroidered. It says Supreme on one side, world famous on the other. It comes in a couple colors. That being said, this beanie's gonna fit like garbage because it's not a loose gauge. There's really no point in copying it. Oh, wow. And then the last two pieces are absolute garbage. You have this uh, jersey, which says rotten, which is a pretty good adjective to describe this piece. It is rotten. You have it in the Gucci colorway. You have the brown Carolina blue. You have the banana split, yellow and pink. And then of course you have this black and purple, which looks like the Black Sabbath jersey, just not nearly as cool. You have this rotten spell out in this like varsity font. It's garbage. And then uh, you have this pumpkin hat. Dude, this... 
I don't know. This week is trash, but there are two pieces that I do want, so I'm not complaining. Hopefully, I'm able to acquire both of them. Like I said, if you guys want to see the live cop, make sure you smash the like button down below. If this video gets 1500, that's 1500 likes, then I will do a live cop tomorrow. While you're down there smashing that like button, make sure you follow me on my personal Instagram page, which is at Starlet, C H E S T A R L I F E, and I will have some polls of all these pieces. You guys can let me know your guys' opinions on my Instagram as well, so make sure you follow my personal Instagram and join in on the polls. That being said, while you follow my personal Instagram, follow my resale page, Robotess and Poppy. I have been running some raffles lately. I also just raffled the Supreme Arc logo North face parka the red one and someone won that yesterday for $15 in their first raffle ever what a fire come up shout out to my man swag king alejandro who won that he's definitely swagging on all of his classmates in that supreme north face that he got for 15 freaking dollars and then of course let me know in the comments what you think of this week which pieces you guys are going for what you like all of that fun shit if you're not subscribed change that subscribe turn on post notifications and as always thank you so much for watching i appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart keep living the star life